Hello everyone and welcome back to brand new video. So today's video will be a summary for the previous devlogs for people who didn't watch all the devlogs. They can find all the progress done in this video because it's basically a recap. So guys, a quick disclaimer before you start shouting at me. <laughs> for the couple previous weeks I had exams so I didn't really have time for game dev or making videos. Although my last video was like one week ago. So you can see the determination right there. <laughs> And without making this any longer, let's jump ahead into the video. So in 3 March 2020 is where the idea of making a FPS multiplayer game popped in my head. And still don't have a name. I chose to use Unity Game Engine for it because it is what I'm familiar with. I started by making a capsule player and a first person shooter view controls in a test scene. And as you can see, then I started actually designing the game map. All the first week was basically dedicated for the map, so I imported Bro Builder and I started setting up the basic structure. And I used the asset store free assets where I got barrels, containers, wood planks, and all the different components that you can see right now. And after some days, the map was ready with a closed area and it was time to move to work on something else. The next week I worked mostly on the player so I started by getting a 3D solder character and I implemented it in my game and gave him a rifle that I got from the asset store then I set up some idle and running animation so now we can use the model on the first view then I gave the player the ability to aim so the game feel more responsive and I coded the player to die when he received damage after that I added a falling animation when the player dies which takes about 5 hits for the muzzle flash I used Unity Particle System to make a fire effect, but I didn't really like the end result, which was shit to be honest. <laughs> but the good news, we managed to fix it later and you will see how it's going to look and that was all what the second week had of progress. The third week was actually for fixing bugs and other things. I started by fixing the player hands position and the first person shooter control, so now the player followed the camera rotation using the inverse kinematics. Then, like I said earlier, I started working on fixing the muzzle flash and I added some animation to spice it up and as you can now see, the new muzzle flash and the shake animation and I also added a reload animation. I added a skybox which gave even more brightness to the game then I wanted a melee combat system so I got a knife from the Azstar and I started setting up some stabbing animation which was kinda cool in the end and I really liked it. So in the fourth week I wanted to spice things up and take it to the next level so I started making the multiplayer so I made a Fortnite server that can have a maximum of 20 players at the same time and now as you can see players can connect and I can see the other players moving around in all sides and if I switch to my player I can also move without any problems. The next thing I wanted to add is a demo screen and text. So I got some images from Google and I made the damage panel so now as I shoot the player the screen becomes bloody and after 5 hits you are dead message shows up. The next thing I did was to make 50 different spawn points around the map so the player can spawn randomly in different places which ended up working fine. As you can see the player spawns at a random position every time he connect or get killed. Well guys that was actually all the progress that was done in the game. Now to be honest the project is currently on hold. And I don't know if I'm going to work on it anymore because it was initially started for the purpose of learning new things. Yeah, I hope you guys can understand that. I might have other projects in the future though and I will take seriously. So stay tuned for that. I think that was it for today's video. Stay safe and peace out. 